know what it is, it's the Front Left Podcast, Front Left of All Conversations, the streets have been waiting and we answered. My name's Teske, and okay, aka Tezza, and I'm joined by... What it do, baby? <laughs> nah, trigger tray. <laughs> yo, it's one like Josh, LFTS, but yo, spoke to my risk, uh, my risk broker, he said, big man, we're back in business. <laughs> he said, we're well, here. I said, you know what, boss? <laughs> I'm ready to risk a couple of things this week, so... <laughs> We had a week hiatus, and I'm back and better. Put my policy. I'm back and I'm better. <laughs> put, my, put my policy. I'm ready to go, baby. Bro, this intro is like a manifesto. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing, I was doing, risk it all party. <laughs> <laughs> risk it, risk it, nah, man. Serious. Yo, trust oh, me. Yeah, a couple of that? man inside as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. man. Shout Yo. out to Simi. Shout out to Emmy as well. So it's, it's Jacob it's, on the cams as well. Yo, it's the random. As per. Come on. How is everyone anyway? I'm okay, you know. Can't really complain. I'm tired. Trigger, what you tell me? I'm all right, you know. I'm all right. Just living life yeah. now. Yeah. Man, just the yeah. fresh waves. Trust me, man. Been surfing. Wait, wait, wait. You can't swim, though. Surf, but yeah, we can't actually <laughs> swim. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a nice segue. Because yeah. you know what they say about black people? Uh, they don't know how to swim. That's a lie. Yeah, I know, because I can swim. Can you swim? Yeah. Mad. Which, which Kellogg's Which Kellogg's swim? You know when you used to Them be Them little school? badges. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yo, yeah. What which Kellogg's? Four, what was the length? Five, ten. Five, five, ten. ten. <laughs> Whatever the second to most one is. I yeah, heard, my mum sold them to my uh, swimming shorts, innit? But so, the, the badge, yo, boy. Don't wear you down. We was, we was collecting <laughs> got them. Ready, don't wear you down. <laughs> collecting them like Pokemon cards, man. Okay, it was Pokemon actually Pokemon. big, but God. yeah. Anyway, but anyway, we're going to dive into some Come topics, on. you know. The Zanku Master and that. Yo, trust. It's African War, yeah. <laughs> 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 now, we're going to talk all things like not just black culture because that's a bit too vague but uh, it's what we have more of a thing more black so we can yeah no no when I, say, when I say when I say it's vague I'm I mean gonna like, jump in Asian culture no nah, that's not what I'm, I'm talking I watch Anything. anime so I know Japanese <laughs> no no nah, I don't mean like that I mean like we're gonna talk about like the experience our experiences yeah as part of the black culture but like the black culture in a whole in a wider general sense is like it's quite broad Mm. So we're talking from well, I'm talking from growing being, up black, basically. Yeah. <laughs> like, we're growing up Zambia because I'm from Zambia. You, you're from Nigeria. You're part Ghanaian. Yemi's part uh, Nigerian. <laughs> Simba's Zim. So yeah, everyone's experience is different. Mine was mine was like unique because I didn't really know any of the Zambian people when I grew up, apart from. Like the family. To I be honest, any of this. You're the first Zambanese person I've ever met. That's a Zambanese. Zambanese. <laughs> <laughs> you're the first Zambanese person I've ever met. What, what was it? Z- just Zambian? Yeah. Zambanese. Don't listen to this guy. Don't listen. Zambanese. 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 This guy is remixing the thing. Zambanese. Because right all, all I knew from, especially being in Liverpool, all I knew was Congolese, man, Jamaicans, and Nigerians. Nigerians. And that's it. And people from Angola. There was, there was yeah. a bare Angolans at one point. Was that? Yeah. yeah. Was, no, is it what Mozambique? Mozambique, Angola, bear people came, so I knew bear. But then, all I knew is like fuck it, just bear Jamaicans because at the time Ragas first come out. Titi dumping That's what everyone used to knew, but no back then. So it was just like yo Jamaican Jamaican. So everyone used to think they were yard man. So I used to think, yeah, man, I used to, well, yeah, I got caught a bit of Jamaican in me. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was going to ask. Yeah. When you were in school, did people automatically think that you were like, I don't know, they just assumed, obviously not people who are like black or from that kind of yeah. diaspora. Um, did they did they automatically think, oh, because he's black, you're Jamaican or some shit? I, some shit like I that. don't think um, I look Nigerian. So to a lot of people that have met. Yeah, but I feel like you look Nigerian to people who are in that community. Nah, I don't know. Nigerians don't even think I'm Nigerian. That's the weird thing. A lot of a lot of black people feel like I'm Jamaican than Nigerian. Oh really? Yeah. I've never yeah. When I say I'm Nigerian and then I, I talk about like where I'm from. It's like, oh shit. Did <laughs> 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 I was like, yeah, 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 man, I'm fully fledged. I'm a fly Jerian, isn't it? So, <laughs> so the fly Jerian, come on. Shout out to Skeppy, shout out to Yeah, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, speaking of, so what about you, Trey? When you grew up, did so you, did um, you really like flex your whole kind of like 
Ghanaian side. You know what? Yeah, to be fair. Um, oh, apologies for the deep voice. But uh, <laughs> this guy, this guy does, he doesn't mean the apology. Oh, oh, does it for the babes? So no, the babes, no, 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 you know what? Yeah, no, no, for babes. Oh my god, you got a ping for Jesus? No, no, no. And Jay's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. You know what? Yeah, fuck the deep voice. Yeah, I'll just trigger. So, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, go, 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 let's speak. So, let's so speak. like, obviously, it's me, my brother, and my mum in my mm. house, household. And my dad obviously works away. Mm. So, like, growing up at home, my, n- my mum never really, like, talked to me about the African culture, do you know what I mean? Mm. And the school that, obviously, me and Josh went to in primary school was, like, what, like on some white ends, do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So, like, I would say probably growing up, all my sort of friends were, like, just all white. The only black oh, yeah? people that I really chilled with was just Josh. And then my little brother, do you know what I mean? Oh, so and then I, st- I was playing stuff like tennis, football. So the time and the chances that I would have had to sort of learn my actual culture, yeah. I just never had just to... only at home or... Only at home or... Josh or whatever. But yeah. even still, like, obviously everyone has like their own issues with like family and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, like my mum just wouldn't get involved with stuff like that. So just let me... Mark your family yeah, back. Yeah, 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 yeah. so places, just let me yeah. do what I do with you, is Like, mine's different from Trey, because as I said, I'm full Nige. So from from the back, from the gaff, like, it was like, all you'd speak was like, a period, it was just Yoruba. So it was just Yoruba, Yoruba every day. Just as soon as I leave the gaff, that's when I start speaking English. So then, <clears throat> from then, so it's like, when my sister came along, that's when the Yoruba stopped. So my sister can't speak it, but I can. So then we used to go to Nigeria, like, for um, every... It was, like, every year for Easter. And it was, like... It's mad because I used to keep my world separate. So people in school would only, like... Especially when you're in school, like, your mom's would be like, yo, I'm eating turkey to his list tonight for dinner. <laughs> Why am chopping Gary on <laughs> and it's peak in it because I couldn't be telling people, yo, what am I chopping? Because it's mad because they didn't get it. The ground nuts in your hand. Yo, like but because <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a piss take as well. Because I used to think like, rah, my mum don't love me. Why is she not giving me this, man? I used to be like, you felt ma, ma, I felt fucking left out, man. I was like, yo. <laughs> These man are eating Lunchables. <laughs> Why am I not eating Lunchables? Am I eating proper like rice every day mm. or panda jam every day or the maddest meat? Hard. It's not even, <laughs> it's not even, I'm eating like, so for us, like eating like oxtail because it's now culture. People are like, yo, I love oxtail and stuff like that because they're starting to chase things. Yeah, you popular. said this like 20 years ago, yeah? When we was growing up, we were going to tell people you yeah. eating cow foot and oxtail. Look at you like, like <laughs> no, what the fuck true. is this? No, it's true. Because I, I remember when I was younger, like, um, pack lunch. Obviously, like, everyone has, like, a specific kind of pack lunch. And then I might have just normal stuff, like, mm. your sandwiches and your crisp or whatever. And then you just have certain that your mum's put in. Mm. And then you don't even want to eat it because when you open the pack lunch, and everyone's like, what the fuck are you eating? Yeah. And it's like, it might be something traditional, something I ate the yeah. night before that mm. my mum's packed for me. And I just, it was kind of like embarrassment because it's like, no one's gonna understand me eating this, so I don't want to be like deemed to be the outsider. So you kind of just go with the flow. Yeah. So I'm gonna be eating, flipping, then smiley faces with beans and fish fingers. I got one man that we still eat like this to this day. I ain't gonna say his name. Uh, <laughs> yeah, at his well, big age. Mad, at his big mad. age, man. Do you know, when, yeah, do you know what, when you're um, eating at like school and that, mm. and like the portions that they give you, mm. so it wasn't enough for me. <laughs> so I remember I was like, "Yo, I want to go and pack lunch." It's just I, you must have left. I think it was year five or year six. Mm. And um, my mum, I was like, "Oh, I want some like jollof rice." So she filled up the, the, the uh, container, yeah. So I come, yeah, and the teacher goes, "That's a lot of rice in it." <laughs> so yeah. I was just like. In your head, you're thinking, this I is think normal, this is normal. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I remember in parents evening, and we're like, oh, like, he's doing really well in the studies. Like, you know, <laughs> I realised that he comes in, like, with, like, a big, like, big tub of rice. Like, <laughs> and my mum's just looking at me, like, smiling. I'm like, what's going on here? <laughs> what's the I, rice got to do with I the grains? I just thought it was just fine. Do yeah, you know what nah, I mean? I'm well, the same. Like, you know, just back out that pack lunch. Everyone's looking at me like, yo, my man's got a big bucket of rice or nah, something. Trust, but, it's normal. Yeah. For them, it'd be free portions. For us, it's just for ourselves. But like you saying that you guys were growing up and you had like um, kind of mainly like 
be when they're predominantly like white school or white area and stuff. For me, it was different. Like mm. from when I was like eight, seven, eight, I had like a friend from almost like all over the world. It was actually quite weird. Like I had one Asian, I uh, one Indian friend, one friend was half Yemeni, half white. Then I had my other best friends were from Kenya, um, Ivory Coast, and Nigeria, and that was all from the age of like eight. Wow. So like growing up, I like I. I was like open to like different cultures. Bro, I think that, that's it's your because you lived in Toxif. Well, I live in, I live kind of close, but I live in Wave Cheap, but I used to go to after school in Toxif. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I feel like seven that's us because we're from Toxif. Yeah. So like for me, it was just constant. So like when I was young, I remember going to like um, one of my friends when he was back in like I think it was year one, and it was Indian, and it was like Indian culture. Then I went to another one, another one in like year two, and. We went to the mosque. It was the first time I ever went to a mosque. I am um, with his dad because his dad was from Yemen, but the mum was English. Mm. And then we had like all the like food that you have in a mosque. And I was like, rah, this is. This I enjoyed popping. it. I was like, this is it's sick. Actually popping. Like obviously, this my own culture and whatever. I eat when yeah. I'm at home, but now I'm I'm open to all these things. So mm. ever since from a young age, it's always been like like even now we our group is diverse. Yeah, our group so is like, diverse. So like it's always been like that for me. So it's been like like I said in the other pod, Indian Chinese, yeah. my one Indian with Chinese. You might want Italian, you might African, Caribbean. They were giving you this food? No, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> that's... <laughs> yeah. No, no, imagine... Yeah. <laughs> Man's coming like Red Hot Buffet. <laughs> <laughs> you want Chinese with Indian? <laughs> you want African with Chinese? <laughs> <laughs> I was doing fusion before fusion was a thing. No, I'm saying that all my friends are from them different places, okay. so I was exposed to all those different cultures, and, like, I was, like, oh, like... Yeah, I did actually try all those kind of foods as well. Because yeah. then again, in my school, we had a click where there was like four Chinese people. They were yeah. also my good friends. Okay. So it was like... Yeah, someone was eating chicken foot. No. Nah. <laughs> nah, not chicken foot. Nah, and, and, and uh, I've had chicken foot before, but that, that's not a thing. But oh. I've tried all these different things and I've, tried, I've been exposed to all these different cultures. Okay. From it, from young. That's decent, man. Mm. To be honest, man. Fucking especially growing up in Toxtuff, innit? I, I, I class Toxtuff because there's like, where you say like Yemeni and Somali mm. and stuff, man. Man, this is like, this is road for us, man. So you need to learn how to cuss in all different languages. Yeah. While speaking, you, I was speaking... coming out like mist. No, I was. Oh, I was no, coming, I was coming out, like, out like, all, yeah. You had to come prepared because but you never know when Arabic man could be going... <laughs> 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 you have to be on... Bo- you have to it's like when you watch on videos when they say like people in New York like the black people speak like Spanish and stuff yeah because they need to be like ahead of the game it was like these Somali man used to be like so and you're like how about what (laughs) 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 because now everybody man you have to be after Arabic people and it was it was live it was wavy because it gave me like I can get by in set countries now, so I don't know if I can still cuss out as many people. Oh, no, man. Not, <laughs> not, 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 I ain't not, playing them games. Not in 2019, man. No. Jeez. No. No. But I had to be, saying, I had to be oh, out yeah, there, he's man. culturally appropriating. But I had to. Man's it, Nigerian, but he's speaking what? Swedish. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. That's actually so funny. <laughs> One, one speaking Swedish, Swedish. Say Swedish. but he's, he's black <laughs> what's going on <laughs> no, no but you know what even though no, I mentioned Sweden there's best Mali people and, and like East African people in Sweden this is what Yemi tells me on a regular no there's yeah, bear, 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 bear. Bear. there's yeah, bear come on yeah, tell us yeah. I don't eat that I don't eat them kind of meals man I, said, I don't eat them meal deals yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. nah there is actually bear though I've and seen it Leng as well yeah yeah I don't the know cuisine about that is there, man. You just gotta, just gotta but, explore. Um, explore, man. Trust. But yeah, anyway, trust. like I was talking about the whole kind of like black culture, black experience. I don't like to use the word, use the word black sometimes because it's too broad. Because like my me being black is black in Britain, but I'm, I'm like I said, I'm from Zambia, where you you men are from different places. So it's just like the we'll call it the culture. Oh, the, before you culture. before you jump on. So a lot of scouts people that have been going chibuku shake shake <laughs> that is actually a zambian thing nah, it is. no 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 banter nah, no cap chibuku shake shake yeah, yeah. is a drink in zambia so they stole it from they a did man. man they did they actually wow. did kfc did. mcdonald's or <laughs> these one stealing things from black people they stole mm. chibuku shake shake which is actually mm. a, a milk drink from zambia and it tastes nasty yeah it's not the thing but chibuku the shake shake was a live party still yeah, yeah it was yeah. Fucking, fucking the day. but they did actually steal it <laughs> yeah. even the logo the logo 
it's on the drink. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's like a so, milk carton thing, but what, no it's made. Nobody, Yo. I didn't even know it till Tesla was like, I swear this is something in Zambia. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was all in the gaff, and yeah, he was like, My dad came in. He was like, Chupuku shake, shake. Chibuku, <laughs> Chibuku, <laughs> Chibuku like, beer. No, he was like, Bro, no, because he was telling us the history, and he was like, Ah, yeah. you, you know Chupuku shake, shake. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, to think that we go to art college. He's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Is this supposed to be a professional with that? <laughs> shit. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's the that's the logo. Yeah, and it's the same thing. And then if I go back thing? one. Look at the drink, man. Oh, they took the They drink. took it. Yes. Wow. People, people drink that. It's not like a. It's not like a popular. Well, it's a popular drink, but it's for people who. Uh, Jeez. I don't want to sound cheeky, but people who don't have money. Okay. Because you can just make it easy because of the ingredients you use. You just use like the staple food, which is like meal or maize, and then you ferment it. And then once it's fermented, then uh, you like Madness. put it in, the, in that milk carton and then. But like, the man grips it. in the bottle. It's sour though. Like he grips the really... babes in there. Look at this man. See the hand up. It's sour. It's not, it's not really a, it's a, a drink I would recommend, but yeah. Mm. Man, they're stealing. Didn't even they're know. They're stealing. Which leads us on to kind of the next segue, which is like about like culture. Like, why is it acceptable? Like, in like, I'm going to say our culture. I'm just meaning like the wider black experience kind of thing. We've got certain things that are kind of like taken by other people from other cultures and then they end up coining it, i.e. the Chibuka thing. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. who, who, who from Liverpool would know? By nobody. That's that's a mad like. I, where have you got that? Like, that's bro, too specific and too random. Or it's too random. But it's it's too, it's that random that I want to know. Is the the guys who make Chib- who did Chibuka are they white or black? I don't know. Maybe maybe then now I need. Or to, did he go Zambia? The, the, the drink or the actual? No, the nah, actual event. people who went to the because Chibuku shakes. I don't know why I'm calling it the full name. Chibuku itself. I swear it was going. Before before we even started the party, because I yeah it was I remember him talking well. about Chibuku for time yeah so maybe they're one of them white kids who did like work in Zambia and then for maybe maybe because a lot of people do you <coughs> yeah, yeah. Um, where, where where is it it's like not like helping kids but you can just go anyway like, like vol- volunteer. volunteer yeah like yeah, volunteer yeah, yeah, yeah. and you can get the whole experience yeah. and you can go you do to it like like Uganda and yeah you can places. go to the falls you can go to safari you can yeah. do all those kind of things and you build up qualifications yeah. for you yeah. like, for like he, charity and stuff yeah. Like yeah, 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 yeah. yeah or you could do it like straight after uni or some stuff because I was going to say most medical students go over there also as well to do stuff like yeah, that yeah yeah uh, it's decent because there's another thing because I was thinking of other examples like when you go to hair shops we want to go, like, you want to go get your hair brushes, you want to go get your do-rags and all that stuff. Yeah. And then no one in the shop black. Oh. But all the products are for black people's hair. Which shop's this? So just in general. Just not all of, not I, all of, I, I know what? you're going to say that because your mum owns a shop. Nah, nah, not even, not even just my mum owns a shop. The one that baffles me the most, where I see Asian dons. Asian dons own all, most of them. Yeah. All, even, the, all the ones in town. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even the suppliers that my mum goes to. Mm. Even from day. So there used to be one black supplier who mm. used to come from London. He was a sound don. And then there used to be... Nah, he was actually really... He looked like Richard Blackwood. He was actually <laughs> a sound guy. Remember my mum from day. And then the rest were all Asian. And I was thinking, rah. Where did these Asian men like, feel like getting onto it but now Asda and like especially Asda I don't really see it in Tesco and Sainsbury's but I see it in Asda more than anything else but they have like um, um, like black hair products or like yeah, well, I, don't, hair I, don't, I don't I'm not saying it from the point of view that like these places can't promote or sell it in there that's fine I'm just saying like you'd expect like you're not gonna go to if you go to eat Chinese in a proper Chinese gaff and yeah. no one's Chinese, you're going to be like, what the yeah. hell? Do you know what I mean? Like, no, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to be like, what the hell? Yeah. Or you go to Italian and no one's Italian, you're like, what the f... Yeah. Who's... T- how are you jacking it? Is, it, it, is it authentic? Exactly. Yeah. That kind of but thing. I got a couple of uh, mates that I know <laughs> who are like Chinese as well, but mm. they don't, they wouldn't go and eat like Chinese like in the town. They'll go like to like the outskirts or whatever. Yeah. I don't know why, but... Yeah. No, but it's probably because they... They believe what they're gonna, the quality of what they're gonna get is gonna be outside. better yeah, outside. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what that's my whole thing because it's like, well, maybe maybe it's just to do with the, I don't know, like business acumen kind of thing where like people from whatever other communities they're like, okay, I've got the wealth, so I'm gonna build X, Y, and Z, and then I'm gonna take whatever's niche, and then I'll make money from it. So. 
But I don't know, <clears throat> especially when when my mum was making the most, was, there was a point where there was not that many black owned businesses. So I need to think when my mum opened the first shop, there wasn't that many people there. So then it was just like, everyone used to go to either my mum, Africana, and some next lady. Yeah, some, I used to go to them back in the day. Yeah, so Africana. then they were, the, they were the only ones. Go on the top of Smith Down. So then, so then you need to think as well, not many black people actually open businesses. So it's kind of, you could be like, oh, yeah, why, why aren't the black people are you going to buy it there? But not many black people open businesses. Uh, you could say maybe... Maybe that's a factor because there's less. There's less. So there's less chance. There's less. You, there's less chance. So it's kind of good. So when my mum opened it, there was only like there weren't even no competition, mm. and it's like you, you, my, you're getting like this amount of revenue that you're feeling like okay, that's decent. But I I don't really hate it because it's <coughs> helping us. No, it's not so much. Way. It's not so much. I'm hating <coughs> on it. Like people can can do whatever. It's clever on their behalf. It's just like it's just a thought. It's like you'd think if you went somewhere where it's like ah. Oh, I will kind of like hair or I'm using that as a specific because I know when you go to them kind of shops, like you, there's one that I go to on Smith Down opposite the um, Asda, before the Asda, you know where the pharmacy is? Yeah, yeah, Just yeah, across yeah, there, yeah, go yeah, into there. The, yeah, opposite, go into there and everyone who works there is white. Swear down. Yeah, well, from, I mean, I don't go there all the time, so if before someone hears this and go, no, I'm black, I went there. But, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, no, yeah. <laughs> I need to clarify that. Cancel him. No, no, no. I just say every time, I, <laughs> every time I go in, I just, I see that. And then I just look and I'm thinking, and then he come over to me and go, oh, do you need some help? I'm thinking, am I really going to ask this woman? Yeah, so... <laughs> I, I got S girl today and I need a brush for my hair and she's like, yeah, yeah, it's this one. I'm thinking, rah. These guys actually know what they're talking you about. Know, you know what though, yeah? When I see people um, like, so like either immersed in the culture or they know a little bit about it, mm. I think, yo, you've actually spent time, you know, and they actually appreciate it. Like you actually yeah, took yeah. time to understand it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. Now I rate that, like I think there's a line, obviously. There you is. You can appreciate it and be like, if it, if that's part of your experience, then that's that's fine. But then there's some people I feel like just jump on the wave Chinese. because it's. Oh. Oh, I'm just gonna get out. What <laughs> <laughs> so you said, Chinese? I was like, what? Asian man, yeah. Especially when it comes to, I don't know if you might have seen the the videos of like, I oh, don't see hair. I don't see it in the UK. That's in America, isn't it? or China? It was a, or... Is it a China in America? Especially with all these TikTok now. And then have you seen the one where they have like, before I jump on the hair on the hair, it's like, get up. What is it? Get up ghetto talk or some shit and it's like these Chinese it's just bare different Chinese people talking like mm. they're from like black areas oh, yeah. but oh. then it's these Chinese trims as well that <laughs> the process of them putting through this cap I've seen it twisting with it with the hair straight fine cone and, and the then next minute afro next minute there's afro and hair. then they do it and I was like and whoa use the afro brush and the sponge like Chinese people know their whole identity is black culture but I was watching I was watching a, a documentary the other day where they said that it was actually really good because how Chinese people engulfed into black culture, but black people are more engulfed into Asian culture. And that is very true. Because I don't know about you. When you but, say Asian, <coughs> what, you, what, what do you mean? mean? So like if you speak to a lot of black people, mm. the the majority they love is like Kung Fu movies, anime, Chinese culture, Chinese food. The mm. women, what they want, and I thought I deeped it under there, and I'm like, rah, this is me, because I was like, <laughs> this is like, I was like, at home, I'm always practicing Japanese, man. I'll say, my mom pisses me off. I say something in Japanese, she's looking at me. I'm like, oh, oh no, 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 not <laughs> Egg fried rice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I hear, man. Like, but it's actually true because. They were saying, like, back in the day, even when my mum first came here, my mum used to watch, like, kung fu movies all the time. It was my mum who got me into Bruce Lee and stuff like that. And she was like, when we was in Nigeria, the things that they always used to show as well were, like, there was two things that she used to say, Deep Space 99. <laughs> it's so random. <laughs> Deep Space 99 and kung fu movies. That That's all they used to watch in Nigeria. That was, if there was electricity on, that was what they would see. And I was like, Deep Space 99 is one of them as fuck. Yeah, I, I, I don't, even I know, don't know what, what that is. Space 99. It's like, like Star Trek. Yeah, 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 something oh, like Star Trek. And then she just used to say, like, she just loved it. And then everyone that I speak to was like, yeah. So then the documentary was saying that, like, especially in, like, America and that, Chinese movies 
were considered like low budget kind of films. So then the way they would put them on theaters and stuff, it would be based to black, the black people. So all they would do would just pay for the ticket. Ticket would cost for call. So it was cheap for them to just go to movie theaters and get into that culture. Mm. And then they broke it down from Wu-Tang and so on. And then if you look at it now, the, the kind of success for anime right now, I would say is because of black culture. They hyped up in the West that a lot of people now are into it or a lot of people are more into it, looking around it. So I generally feel like we're both fixated on each other. So we can't really say one. You, you, one. Need, you kind of need each other to sort yeah. of... Uh, I mean, yeah. I, I like the integration of everyone's kind of whatever's popular and everyone's culture, blending and mixing together. It's, I'm not like taking it away. My whole point was just saying that like, you know, at the end of the day, even though you may say black culture is pushing anime or whatever, they're still the ones behind it. They're the owners. Yeah. They're the pioneers. Where there's certain things in the black culture industry, whether it's media or sports or whatever, hair, like we were saying, we're not the 100% owners, even though it's for us. Yeah. So sometimes we're just the consumers. We're the ones who spend the money splashing the cash, flossing, trying to do drip. But we should also be the ones owning it. So it goes back into that community back into that kind of like infrastructure so then in 10 years time then when you have kids or whatever then they start their own thing then you start a whole cycle a generation mm -hmm. so then it's like everything then filters into each other then it's like yeah oh yeah where'd you get your do-rag from oh, i got it from trays trays waves then you mm -hmm. go to trays waves and then oh where did you get afro comb from oh, i got it from josh risk mm -hmm. and then it just grows like that and then it just becomes a community and then that way then you've created your own i don't even know what the word is i'm looking for but you could say like a community yeah though. yeah your own community for it to then <coughs> mm. grow because like leading on to it like when when i was looking at like um the nfl thing of kaepernick yeah colin kaepernick like he's been suspended for <coughs> fighting for his well not just his rights but he was the first one to be like nah but the on the national anthem because these Americans are killing like black people etc and police police brutality and he thought nah why am I going to stand for a national anthem that doesn't really care for me so I'm going to then be opposed to it but the only thing that I don't like about Kaepernick is uh, what he's doing is big it's a big shout <clears throat> and all that yeah but now he wa he's begging to play in a league that a league doesn't want him Modern day NFL is slavery. It's the I've, only. I've heard that before. Yeah, and the way if he no offense to him, but he seems like a very intelligent guy. Yeah. Why do you keep on crying to be? Why is teams not playing me, or why am I not playing for the league? Did you see? So listen to you. Did you see um that new that workout that he done the other yeah, day? The yeah. So I was watching like some of the other, like pundits, not pundits, whatever whatever you call them. Yeah, pundits analysis. Um, and, and like do that Stephen A. Smith and all, and, all, and all them all them guys. And he was saying that, like, uh, like he start, Kaepernick now, he's starting to annoy the people that were supporting him. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because, like, from what I seen um, to the day was that they organised it. Like, the NFL, like, organised all, however, however many teams that there are in the actual thing. <clears throat> and um, he decided, nah, bun this. Like, I want to do my own workout, like, somewhere else. Yeah, so yeah. then all those teams, I think only like, seven or eight of them or whatever, actually went over to you know, watch him. Mm -hmm. But then he didn't even want like none of the scouts to video it. He wants his own film crew and stuff. So mm. I kind of feel like, like you mentioned before, he, he's, a, he's a smart guy, but he's going about it the wrong the way. Wrong way. And he's starting like, to shoot himself in the foot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think so. Oh, go on. If he really wanted to burn off the whole, it's not like the NFL or the national anthem and stuff like that, he should have just left the league and pursued something else. Because this is what I'm saying, like, the NFL is a route for black people to have money. It's not a mm. route for you to be, to do anything successful. The turnover of black people that get injured or, the black people only have, especially even here, sport or music or so on. So that's where people get tied into like contracts, labor contracts or like football contracts. And then even the transfer of different players is, it's slavery, that's what it is. It's just a way to put people's stock or your stock value is this high because you achieved so high in one year. But that's what, that's what I was talking about, the ownership thing, because yeah. in, 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 in NFL, NBA. especially, there's no real black owners. There isn't. Where it's like, so it looks like all the black players do the work, do the work, like, not literally. But well, yeah, literally, because they're the ones on the field kind of mm -hmm. thing. It's major, majority, like, black players, and then the owners are like, I'm not of 
Mm. They're completely different. So it, it does come across like what you're saying, like kind of like a modern day slavery thing. But I think people are getting annoyed at Ka- uh, Kaepernick because he, the, I, I don't know, I think they feel like he's using his platform to like almost like not not gain clout, but kind of like along those kind of. Yeah, like I um, seen a, um, <clears throat> a quote, um, I think it was Stephen A. Smith saying, like, oh, he doesn't really want to play in the league. He he's, he wants to try and be like a martyr kind yeah, of thing. I, so yeah, it's like well. I don't really know what his end goal is. Do you know what I mean? Like mm. he was, he said in the interview, like, oh, I've been ready to be, I've I've been ready to play for like three years. Yeah, like he's ready now. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like, he, yeah, like he, he knows what he needs to do if he wants to play there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But what he's trying to put out there now. He doesn't want to go against it, you know what I mean? Like, it's, yeah. it's but I feel give like and take. That, but I feel like it's come so far. Like, if he wants to continue playing, like, I don't know how long an NFL career is, but it can't be that long. So he's only, I, I think he's 32 as well. So What mean, position does he play? He's not one of them posi- positions that you really, get injured. Yeah, so like, he's okay. like, where, yeah, he just get the ball, distribute it. One, if it was football, it'd be Busquets. One's a Busquets. He's a deep line player maker. Sorry, I had to I thought you said Busquets, you know. No, no. I was like, Busquets. Busquets, you know. Nah, he's a DLP, deep line playmaker. He's the one who starts the attacks and stuff. So mm. a lot of the time he's he's throwing, he's initiating how things um, turn out for his team rather than someone who's in the contact getting smashed every every week. So he probably got like maybe another five, six years of him okay. playing. Yeah, but um, I mean, what he could do potentially is like suck up his pride a little bit. But now he's he's so much of a like a, an athlete and stuff, um, that he can he can now use the platform that he has at the minute and then create his own because he can still play. Yeah, but I don't like, think he should create this platform. It'll be like um, when I say create a platform, though, I mean like if be, he wants to help, <coughs> I don't know, upcoming black players or whatever, create. Something. I think he should just give up on the. I think you should just give up on the league. To be honest, I think you should just. But it's like NFL it's like big baller. Thing. It's like I don't want to get too deep into it because people have said to me like they don't get the sports reference too much. So I'm just going to jump off this subject because it's too deep and people don't really look into these fucking. That we're here to educate. We're here to educate, but when it comes to sports, it's a bit mad. It's actually, it's deep. That's because girls don't do exercise, man. They stopped after PE. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. That, that's that's what I, I don't know what, I actually don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> if I was you, that's what I'm <laughs> nah, I'm only joking. Tezzy, yeah. Yeah. Nah, I'm he's joking. Keep that one to yourself. yourself. No, no, I'm joking, man. Keep Ross. that one to yourself. He's not already to cancel me, like, Tezzy. <laughs> keep that one to yourself. <laughs> After year 11, man, they, they don't. They I don't know. know. Just don't talk. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Man no, said Busquets, you know. No, I'm joking, but I'm joking. I'm not really, but still. But, uh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. fucking. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I had to throw a little span in the way. Yeah. I don't even know what's going on now, you know. We were talking about Kaepernick. What is yeah, 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 it? Yeah. We should move to Kaepernick move, move and then we should, we should venture down the road to maybe music then. Because now it's like popular. I don't know what you mean seeing a lot. Yeah, I've seen the whole. Is it the one ocean, one nation? Why well, I don't call it one ocean, one nation. <laughs> nah, because he, no, he that was a thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. What were you gonna say about one nation? That she was like, yo, something about. So I've seen it with record deals. A lot of people saying the label, but everyone knows the whole label stuff about how people are signing away contracts because they get because their vans look so good. People feel like. Um, because the advance that they get is so good, they don't actually read into the contracts. Mm. And then they start crying about, oh shit, now my label controls me so much. You weren't crying when you got that two million advance. Mm. This is what, it just, it kills me off. Like, you was not crying when you got like two, three mil your way and you start flossing on gram. But now it's like a year on, you haven't dropped no music, but you got a two, three million advance and now you're crying. You should be looking into your contract, looking what you can do's and do's, do's and don'ts. It's like the other day I was listening to um I was listening to, you know, The Lion King. Yeah. And um What the recent one? No, the very first one. Yeah. So the very first Lion King and the kid who was young Simba, he had like a singing part. Mm. And they offered him, they offered him maybe, this is like, Lion King came out in 1992. No, 96. Nah, I swear it came out before we was born. Did it? The I'm first sure one came out. out before we was born. Oh, let's find out. I'm sure it came out in 96. 
I feel like I thought so. No, I don't, I feel like it came up before we was born, you know. Because you know, Power Rangers came out before we was born. But I thought Power Rangers was already yeah, came out in ninety two. I thought oh, Power Rangers come out like I remember Power yeah, Rangers coming yeah, like yeah, fresh yeah. when I was like five. Yeah. So the Lion King came out the seventh of October, ninety four. Ninety four. Okay, yeah. So yeah, yeah, a year after. I knew somewhere in and around there. So then, so the kid who the, who sang the the actual songs, basically Disney were like, <clears throat> we'll give you two million, or no, we ain't even two million. It was like a mil. You sing The Lion King. He was like, oh, cool. He must have been like 19. And he was like, oh, shit. Got a mill, did it. He was so happy, he did it. And he's black as well. What's his name? I can't remember. He was, he's black. But like, his mum was like, if Disney are willing to pay you a mill, they were like, you just get a mill and that's all you're getting. That's it. Um. So his mum was like, if Disney are willing to give you a mill, let's see what else you can get from me. So he was like, all right, I don't want to take the mill. Disney was like, okay, we'll give you two mil. That's it. Just two mil. He's like, oh, cool. He said to his mum, Disney's going to give me two mil. He's like, oh. Like, for him and his family, it was like, you know what? Yeah, two mil is like big, 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 big money for us. And he was like, we can do so much more. His mum was like, you know what? Yeah, don't take that two mil. Go back to Disney and tell them, you don't want two mil. You want 500,000 or like 250,000 and you want to have a percentage. Mm of any Disney merch that has your track or anything to do with royalties. the Simba royalties took it back Disney were like okay cool that's fine boom now he's getting paid he said after the first year year and a half he got two mil off all the royalties of Lion because Lion King was so big yeah Lion King was like that massive that the money that he made in the first two years was more than the money that he made that he would have made as a one off because yeah, yeah. they just wanted to pay him off for a one off yeah because the the labels and stuff they rope you in by <coughs> saying to you I'll give you this up front or you take this mm. and then they probably gloss over like the fine details if you don't look into it yeah. because they want you to take the first deal that they give you yeah. Without you actually like researching or going but it's, deep. It's, it's funny for like people who've like never had money or nothing like that. That's, like, what, that's what I mean. For me, I would have been like, yo, give me that milk. Exactly, because you know it's mean? like money there that you've never seen. So it's like, yeah, obviously I'm going to take this. Yeah. yeah. But like that 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 <coughs> mindset that was it, was it his mum? His mum. His mum, yeah. Or to see see that like ratings, that's that's big, that man. Yeah. That's big. Well, again, but it depends on the, the situation. Maybe the mum thought, you know, he's, he's going to blow. Or he has the talent um, that's going to make us even more money than it was previous. Yeah. Because, I don't know, man, if you're... How old is he, 19? He was 19 at If the you're time. 19 and someone's going to offer you 2.5 million. Yeah. To say no to that is like... It's a bit mad. But people also don't know that The Lion King was stolen from a Japanese... actual Japanese show. Not a Japanese show, but a Japanese cartoon, which is actually The Lion King. Yeah, but isn't that... Isn't like it Africa? Bait? Yeah. That's no, no, they stole the whole story. But where's the original one based? It's based in Japan. Lions in Japan. So it's based in Africa. No, no, no. It's it's based in it's based in um it's based in it was made in a Japanese. It's made by a Japanese like studio, da da da. But it is based in Africa. But the whole story was stolen from this show, okay. from this this already made film. That came out in the eighties. What's, what's the film called? Um, God, the Lion King's been Jack, you know. I feel got Jack. Wait, they, but, but, they, but if if the storyline was made, yeah, then like they steal like the no, they didn't, they didn't steal the idea. But I was thinking he must have stole like the culture and like the settings and stuff like that. But it must have been completely different though. No, no, it was it's bang on. It's actually bang on to the whole... The way they're going in Japan so, to hold a, ki- a, a... So it's kind of funny because <laughs> The Lion King is called Lion King, but the actual Japanese film is called Kimba, The White Lion, Mad Thing. And what's the main character called? Simba. Simba. Mad. Your mind's blown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't let that go over your head. Don't let it go over your head. Don't let that go over your head. Don't let that go over your head. kind of hot in here, you know. Yeah, so, so man, hey. <laughs> Kimba, you know. Kimba, the white lion, came out in 1965. Lion King came out in 1994. So why didn't the Japanese... So they tried the... to sue. Disney has 
No, I mean, why didn't they make them, like, try and make it a thing? Like, make it an official movie and stuff? No, it is an official movie. Oh, so that 1965 one is, yeah. and then it was copied. Oh, okay. So I they, tried to, they tried to sue Disney, mm. and Disney was like, Disney big was like, man. Nope, nope. not today. So yeah. I also found out something mad about Disney. Do you know what? Fucking Disney is the devil. Now I'm not going to watch no Disney channel no more. It's actually kind of funny, though, today, because I was watching, like, um... I watch like a lot of things to do with, like corporations and stuff. And we was talking about the era of like black TV shows. So it was like for us growing up. Trouble not, TV. Yeah, not even just trouble. Like when we used to have like Proud Family, Moesha, Nickelodeon. And you know, like Nickelodeon had like strong based TV, like black actors that were leading. Like Nick Cannon. Like Nick Cannon and okay. and Kill. my guy from. Two, What's that one? Sister, sister. Arnez is Arnez from Cousin Skeeter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Disney didn't actually have a black lead until Proud Family and Proud Soul Family Raven. can't even count because they're cartoons. It's cartoon. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. They were so reluctant. So they were saying like they didn't want to have a black lead. No, nah, they had that's a Raven though. No, that that's a Raven came after. Oh, okay. So then they were so reluctant not to have a black lead because they didn't think it would do well onto the fucking onto the channel. Then they got That's All Raven, and then That's All Raven at the at the height was the leading Disney Channel show. That's and then when Hannah, Mont- wow. when Hannah Montana became big, yeah. that's when That's All Raven, they thought, yeah, done this, bunny. And he cancelled it after like five seasons. But it was that's like, all was sick. That's, that's All Raven was, sick. yeah. That was sick. I know Look just, into the future. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they should just stand. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Flip, Listen and then flipping. By the show, minute. man. She's doing deja vu. It's it's just based off a real real thing, man. It's just deja vu. Yeah. That's what it is. That's the concept of that, that's all Raven. No, not not whatever they they said it was. But I didn't realize that Disney didn't have like a black yeah, lead. they didn't have no black leads. And then then they were saying because then they started to see like a return. Then like, do someone piece together the things that they did in like Proud Family. Mm. So then. You know, the darker skinned people were the, the three dark girls who were the bullies. Yeah. See, Power Farm was a bit... It was, it was a reflection of society, but it was still a bit mad. It was a bit mad. Because, like, they had everyone kind of stereotype. Yeah. Wasn't one of them, like, the son, like, a gangster kind of... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Then, wow. the, then the daughter... You know the daughter's voice is Brianna from One One? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's, like, the loud mouth kind of big earrings, you know, that kind of ratchet kind of so- American stereotype. And then... Like they so. fucked it so they fucked the bass with them so then they were like okay that time is lit though it was lit <laughs> but because Nickelodeon were making so much of a big investment they thought mm. they were going to do that but then um, I think the era of like black entertainment kind of died down so they then that's why they don't really push nothing I don't even think it but I think it was done on purpose you yeah. can't tell me the, I remember growing up I'd be coming home from school and you'd have my trouble wife kids, my wife and kids one on one one on one <laughs> Eve, Eve, Eve all of us yeah. Uh, what else is there? What have I missed out? We're we talking about the 90s. Right, like, not even 2000s. 2000s. Like, yeah, 2000 when you're growing up. You'd have Keenan. Everybody hates Chris. Everybody hates Chris. You have Keenan and Kellen Moesha. Yeah. Uh, the Nick Cannon show. Are you just talking about stuff just off Nickelodeon? Or no, or just, just, in gen- in just in general. Just in general, yeah. Oh. Then you'd have, like you said, my and kids. You have one on one. You'd have Moesha back in the day. Mm. The Parkers. Parkers was sick. Jesus. Eve. Like those those bear bear these shows that were there was. that that were there and then all of a sudden they just all gone. Nah, gone. gone. The only ones that they replay is Fresh Prince. Yeah. It's yeah. as if yeah, yeah. it's as Did if still have trouble on Sky though. Nah, nah trouble died. Right. But the way it just went, it, it just, just disappeared. Went. So it just but it just went. Barely chose and they just gone. They just gone. It's just like, went, man. Like juju. Like nah, seriously. Whoa, like it was like yeah. Bad, man. We're going into the two thousand uh, two thousand and three, four, five, whatever years it was, and it was like. Yeah, you've had enough. You've had your chance. Wow. <laughs> Let's just cut it off. Let's cut it off and start throwing nonsense like Geordie Shaw and stuff like that on TV instead. Like, you just see Geordie Shaw's in season 967 and they just go and get lit. <laughs> they don't do anything. Still, I'm still going, man. I put, like, shows that were had representation, they're all gone. Oh. And some shows can be gone, like, you know, like the Cosby Show, and that's a bit mad still. Uncle Bill. Mm. Granddad Bill's moving mad, but... Like all the shows, like My Wife and Kids and stuff, how it ended, they should have had a, like a another series. Cause nah, Jay was real. pregnant, man. I wanted to know what gone. Yo, yeah? she was she was a sweet one as well. Mm. She was hair near long. 
90 Stacy Dash. Yeah, not, 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 not 2000 Stacy Dash. Yeah, it's 90 Stacy Dash. Yeah, she's cancelled she these was, days. She was the sweetest one. Who else? Does she was ones? not clueless. Everyone who's on Fresh Prince who yeah. had a feature, who was either Will's like the love friend, interest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, did, they did bits with the, Tyra the models, Banks, man. All of them. Janet Jackson was on one, one time before. Oh, she? Yeah. Which is just... <laughs> <laughs> just I just want to kiss her like... <laughs> 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 that was a mother. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know, you just know that one, yeah? Like you just see someone and you just... <laughs> You <laughs> <laughs> uh, kiss us as a weapon, bro. This, this is what Josh said. His voice notes. The that is actually, <laughs> <laughs> it's actually funny. Because I say it to you, man. I know you did. That's what I'm saying. I just want to kiss him. <laughs> 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 What's that thing you do at uni? You just go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's where we are. It's so funny. Bro, you do it. I'll be yeah. like. Just call them over. It's the most African thing. <laughs> <laughs> Can you still do it? Nah, I'm not gonna try. Oh, I'm not even gonna attempt it. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like you call them. Oh, bro, you do, oh, we used to do, do it to man. call like um, Okada or the motorbike people over. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. I get what you mean. That kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> just no, wanna kiss the wall now. Just throw my whole thought <sighs> process into a different stratosphere, but boys. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about TV programs next year, but <laughs> mwah, <laughs> mwah, <laughs> mwah. I was doing mwah. Mwah. lips and Olympics and, and the mic and that. <laughs> but yeah, another let's show that they used to have is flipping Moesha, man. Moesha used to be. Moesha the one was. Is that. Who's Moesha? Who's Mo- the. Brandy? Brandy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, I think she's underrated because she's like a dark skinned girl with braids. No Bro, one. She was live. No she one. Her yeah. and. Um, oh, Brandy the singer? Yeah. Her um, and. Who's that one now? The one she's always on things now. They did a meme of her. Um, oh, uh, what the one she's got? I don't know this man. That what, one. What? Kiki Palmer. Yeah. See, they, they were two mean. underrated blackout because they were buffers. Yeah. I've always thought Kiki was paying. Kiki yeah. got better though. I yeah, feel like she, did, she did. She did. Kiki. Well, they were underrated things, bro. But she had a TV show on, on Nickelodeon. Yeah, was it Nickelodeon. Yeah, yeah, it was Nickelodeon. Oh. Disney, Nickelodeon. Mm. Yeah, I, I told you back. Disney only only had the proud family. They had slots for two. No, no, no <laughs> that's what I say. It. They only had. I want more Filmo, but Filmo mm. weren't even black. Filmo was like. Oh, the animal. Nah, Filmo was. Yeah, but the, he had his pet. Nah, Filmo was the um. The black geeky guy. Nah, he was black, but he was like the whole 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 monitor police guy. Oh so, yeah. 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 My mate school line. <laughs> <laughs> he was, he was no. actually running down ops on the block. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to speak Nickelodeon as well. These have Neds. This Ned. class. Ned's. Ned's class of high school. Yeah. Do you remember one time in year, year 10, someone said that? Cookie. Yeah. Because yeah. I used to have a little frog. Well, you had them braids. On, on, on gra- <laughs> no, before. <laughs> <laughs> Cookie. <laughs> And I put on glasses one time. It was, yeah. oh, I'm not even going to say you call me. Bro. Ned's, this, that was one of the most time. best TV show I've ever watched. That was actually jokes. Mom was a genius, age 14. Yeah, it was the things that you used to fancy. She was buff. Was, uh, she was in another show. She was in Twilight afterwards. The little Asian, Mexican look. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just want to kiss her. Kisses, mom. Yeah, I can't remember. I can't remember what her name is, but... Nah, she yeah, they, they, that was, they were good days now. Now what do we have to watch? Back then, they used to have 19-year-olds playing for 12-year-olds, man. Nah, it's true. Nah, it's legit. Like, near, near Long, I don't know what age she was, but I swear she... Nah, near Long was young then, because... Like in Fresh Prince? Yeah, because that was the same... That was before Friday. And before Friday... She was in Friday, innit? Yeah. When was Boys in... When, when, when Boys was in Boys the Hood came out in 1991. 91. Early 90s. Yeah, and she was in Boys well. in the Hood, too. Because she was like, Trey! Yeah. Just, what? No, why did they kill him? Yeah. Have you seen the Snoop Dogg skit? Yeah, I have that one. So, yeah, yeah. Just stop crying. Yeah, but no. No, yeah, 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 yeah. It was 91. Yeah. So, she, yeah, maybe she was that age. 20, yeah, I think she was 20, that age. Because she might be like early 50 now. Yeah, maybe. Or she must be it'll turn out if they say she's like 38, and I'm like, oh shit. Nah, because then you have another conspiracy Yo. saying that 
Jeff, yeah. Jeffrey Epstein, uh, Epstein being killed. Yeah, yeah, you'll get another. I was saying that out there now. You'll get another. <laughs> they had fourteen-year-olds <laughs> playing twenty-year-olds, and right. nah, 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 nah. But that happened in um, the um, that seventy show. The that Mila Kunis. Yeah, Jackie. She yeah, was, she was 14. She was like 14 and the rest of them man were like 18, 19. Yeah. So she then when, very, she, um, when she kissed man like Aston, Aston Kutcher. Kutcher, man yeah. was like a fully fedged man. Yeah, he was, and she, yeah. she was still like 13, 14. Mm-hmm. So you know was, when she came to the US, I saw her speaking... Uh, she's Russian, isn't it? Yeah, she's Russian. So she speaks Russian and Ukrainian. Sexy. But she never used wow. to be able to speak English. Them Klashnikovs. <laughs> The court clash in the court. How was I gonna say? Yeah, so basically, she couldn't really speak uh, English properly, apparently, when she came. So she like learned the majority of it when she came to the US when she mm-hmm. was. 10 or something like that maybe a little bit younger because there was a there was an interview not an interview yeah like a post film interview that she was doing and um, she had people like the reporters some of the reporters were like from UK and Russia and stuff and they were saying stuff in that language not realising that she speaks it fluently so they were trying to cuss her in that language and then she replied fluently back in, and everyone was just stunned like shit sexy, <laughs> wow sexy yeah. buffaloes with this language it's good man <laughs> Kalashnikov stuff. <laughs> Kalashnikov some Podolskis. Oh shit, man. It's one of them. Podols- Podolski's German and Polish, but still, yeah. Is it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> same thing. <dance. laughs> we're all, we're all the same person, man. What kind Ghanaians, of Ghanaians, Nigerians, all the thing. Before everyone wanted to colonize all these places, yeah. Pangea, all the, all the whole world was connected. It was one. It was one. Zambia used to be with Zimbabwe. Just no, there was no people in America and there was no people in Australia. Facts. What do you mean no people? What about the... Uh, 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 oh, uh, uh, what, uh, uh, what did you what? say? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? said the Arab <laughs> 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 Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, I did. No, I got this. Go I got this. I Oh, no, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but it's Janice, that's, that's it. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slap it. There we go, man. Finally, shit. Mad shit. <laughs> shit. What? I want to say the origin of certain certain, man. Right. Russ. Yeah, what about the them? OGs? <laughs> okay, they, okay. Aren't they the original yeah, people Yeah, they're of actually the, land? the original people of the land. So they were there chilling? Yeah. Just there chilling, like how Thanos was chilling on, you know, the, I've seen it in the Avengers. <laughs> it was just there with his peanuts, his groundnuts, because people say that Thanos is Nigerian. He was there cooking plantain before the Avengers came to like... Was he cooking plantain? In the gauntlet? Yeah, in the, yeah, in the gauntlet. Nah, he wasn't, but people were taking a mick. But he's saying that Thanos is like a Nigerian uncle. Because you sat there and he was like... You know when you get groundnuts and then you, you shake them in your hand, yeah? He was there just like... So mixing the nuts in his hand and then he was cooking breakfast and then all the Avengers <gasps> spoiled it. I know when they store. came out the portal, I was like, oh, what now? Yeah, exactly. He was like, oh, I've, I've told you the prophecy. I've told you. There's too many man them on the world. Half is gonna die. Yeah. You hear killing it. Too population many, control. Too many, too population control. Thanos was here. Population. Trying. He's actually doing population he, he was, control. Uh, he was giving us a message out here. That's why they <coughs> it's population control. Anyway, as I was saying right? about the whatever word trade chart is used. OGs. Before. The OGs. The OGs of the land. Mm. <coughs> Everywhere must have an OG of a land somewhere because like there was. Um, I remember seeing somewhere they were saying like the original or the first signs of human was mm. in Ethiopia in whatever year. Okay. So like the original human. Don't right. quote me on this, but research it. Homo but like, um, yeah, they came from Ethiopia. They came Ethiopia. from East Af- Africa. This used to be one kid. He used to, he used to sing the Matis song. I still remember it to this day. What's that? He was Ethiopia. <laughs> 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 He's Ethiopia. Let the Larish in Nazi. I was like, what is this kid singing? <laughs> We used to take the piss as well. Oh, bro, bro. I'll always remember, man, for singing that song. Because oh, I didn't sing. I thought he was just moving mad, moving mad from day. What was it like? His national anthem or something? Or did you just make if, it? if that was actually national anthem, I don't anthem, know. That's a bit mad, but I yeah. Know. I tried Ethiopian food once. I like yeah. it with no, nah, no. Nah, I, I had didn't one. Like it. I had one with. Like they give me some bro. pancake. Uh, yeah, but it's quite thin. Not. It's begin with an, it's black or brown nah, I, it's or like white. A, 
creamish <laughs> colour. Is, is, is it quite like soft? Is it? It's or? like a pancake. They give me like a pancake, mm. and then I had like vegetables here, mm. stewed vegetables, and then the pancake was like a twenty inch pizza. Oh no! Nah, and then on that. on different things was like stewed veg, and then I had like like stewed meat and then stuff. The bread itself, I wouldn't even call it bread or whatever that was, didn't taste good. But yeah, the, that's, 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 yeah, I think I tried that. I didn't mean to like it. But the 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 stewed stuff, especially the stewed veg, mm. bang more than the meat. It's delicious. It's delicioso. Nah, I'm not too. I don't know. I don't know what it was. I, I tried it once. I tried something when I went because I stopped in Ethiopia briefly on the way back from Zambia, and the food wasn't doing. It wasn't it. doing. It wasn't for slap. You. Didn't slap. So much. Yeah. Do you ever get them ones Eat where fresh, you, yeah. we try food and you put in your mouth and just like, like, oh, what what you, you, you want to spit it yeah, out? Yeah, yeah. I don't know, I can't spit off. I must, I must pull like the funniest faces ever, man. Like, I don't know, how much food do you try to trade though? I thought you no, just... not that much, man. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> I swear you stick to you. The tray diet. <laughs> the tray way. Tray way. Tray this, way. Is the, this is the tray way. Tray way. It doesn't really diverge off the tray way. But yeah, as we are moving. I feel on. like if you go to Africa, you'll suffer. No, I yeah. nah, nah, I feel like if they took no. you to the village. Yeah. yeah. Does your, does your mum cook that kind of stuff at home? Yeah, nah, yeah, yeah. village food is completely different from food it, in the gaff. Mum said nah, that it but I mean, like completely different like back home. But like, yeah. but I mean like the same Even the same preparation of stuff? Any, 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 like, nah, 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 I won't see that. I, I won't see the finished goods. The, nah, because but, the preparation in some of the village and stuff, they don't use an actual stove or some shit. They all use like... Have you seen it when they make like I don't know ground nuts and stuff? They got the see that that's not so or like fish and they're boiling it outside and that's not that bad. No, that I'm not saying it's bad, but I'm saying because the preparation that's what makes the taste yeah. different. I think instead of putting it on a stove or oven and stuff, when you and use it on. fresh with the the sun is helping you cook. See it and that stuff. that's that's different. Like when you see meat getting prepared, is a mad because I I I've been back for like naming ceremonies and stuff like that. Um, it's mad because. Cows in England don't have hair, but cows in Africa have afros. <laughs> and like, what are you? Oh, yeah. that's it. Oh, I know. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a bit mad. It's a bit mad. Yo. So we had like just had, said the cows have wave caps. You yeah. Know, rush. So we had like two. We had like two. Um, so do it. It was like for one for my gra- so my grandma died the same period as my how my little cousin was like born. So it was like a funeral slash naming ceremony. Mm. So they had to kill two cattle. and so now like these cattle as I said, Afros kept wigs. They had the they had the trim going on. So we had one, and it was like you know when you're young, you build like like I love animals in it, mm. but I will yam any meat everywhere. <laughs> So, but like, in it, yeah. Yeah. Nah, trust. But like, I was like, I built like an emotional connection with like the um, the cow with the cow, and playing with the cow, playing with the cow. How'd you play with the cow though? You just. I'm <laughs> <laughs> like, serious. Like, all, like, all you could do was stroke it. And it feed it stuff <laughs> and just keep on feeding and stroking and it would just sit there and so that's like, kind of boring stuff. nah it was, for me it was live because yeah, you get if like you're a, young you get you like a little that. lick and you're like he licked me so yeah mum was getting licks and um, <laughs> so then it was the day or it was the day before they wanted to kill it and I, I'm getting whiffed that mums want to kill this yeah. this animal it's funny because I called it Snow I called one Snow White I can't remember the second one and I, I, so where we live we have our area and next to it is like the bushland yeah and i took off the um took off the um the like not a leash but it was like something ah, yeah, yeah. and the way this thing thought yo i'm free nigga I so, <laughs> ran and just took off nah, and then, like, well. so then when they noticed the cows are gone it was mm. like within 10 minutes <laughs> bro i was in hot water oh because like, it was you too it was <laughs> oh. so because it was like bro i've never just plus to, save the animals plus <laughs> it's like the only person that ever disciplined me at this point was my mum yeah i've never been disciplined by anybody else in my life but everyone was vexed bro but jesus <laughs> like, it was because my auntie's here like oh wait till i tell your mum mm. being over there was like your mom ain't gonna save you now. Yeah. So like it was two different switch ups. Yeah. Bro, the beating I took, it was heavy. Like a couple oh, hey, the tears, they finally got back the meat. So 
That's it's actually, good, it's actually, man. That's but good. it was actually like torture to be fair. Because nah, then they made me watch. I'm like, this is a man thing to, I don't know, to bro. get the, the the animal getting slaughtered. Yeah, I um, watched that one. Bro, time. what I mean, it's devastating. Like, I was trauma, like, man. what is this? Yeah, like I refuse, I ref- well. I refuse to eat that meal. Like I was like, what is this? This is not, this is not for my eyes. I'm Western culture. Nah, like just... I'll do everything traditional, yeah, but at an age where you've never seen anything like mm. that, not like even like without your own interest. Nah, it's because when, you, when you're that young as well, you don't make the um, the connection that this meat is this animal. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just eat. So, like, when I was young, I think I was, like, seven or eight. My dad still laughs at me, even though I was traumatised. <laughs> Basically, like, they we had, we we're going to have, like, a barbecue. I don't know what we're celebrating. This is in Zambia. And, like, they, they like, pick the goat. But, like, I'm seeing these goats and thinking, mm-hmm. oh, these goats. Da, da, da. Then mm-hmm. they slaughter the thing. In fr- like, everyone's there, but they're killing it and they're, like, they're hanging it from a certain thing. Um, and then they kill the goat and then obviously they use the meat and cook the goat meat and stuff for the barbecue later. They clean it and all that yeah. kind of stuff. I didn't know the meat that they then cooked was that same goat that I was seeing slaughtered. There's me munching it like, oh, this chicken's pain. <laughs> like seven years of age and stuff until like months, years later, then I get told mom was devastated. I was like, I was, oh, done, I was, wow. I was done in. I was devastated. Was I was like, what the hell? But my dream, my dream is to have like a house full of like chickens and dogs and stuff. I'm being serious, like yo, I just want like animals in my gaff. I watched the other day how man, my chicken, <laughs> how man had an alpaca for a pet. Like yo, how do you domesticate an alp? Wait, this alpaca was running like it was a dog. <laughs> I was like, like yo, alpaca's really big though. Yeah, yeah bro, massive. it was the way it was so happy to see water. It was running. It was like I was like, this is the. Kind- I need this kind of lifestyle, me, man. I know a couple with alpacas, you know. Who do you know? No, 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 Oh, my boy, my boy from uh, uni, man, Elliot, one of his boys has got an alpaca in his back garden, bro. If I saw it on the internet, then it must be bro. true. I'll, t- I'll tell you the one off camera, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got an alpaca in his backyard. Yeah, man, they got a farm as well, man. What do alpacas eat? Veg. I don't think they eat meat. No, nah, but just like grass yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, alpaca, so. you know. But, um, the way this one was jumping like it was a full yeah, on dog. Run, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Play, like, I was like, this looks cool. That's mad. Yeah, but yeah. I know people who are alpacas, man. I said he knows people. <laughs> no, like it's a whole base community. In it, like in it. <laughs> yeah, my boys. My you know, boys. The alpacas. The alpacs. Is this one else then? You know, the alpacas. <laughs> the alpacs. You know. Yo. Nah, that's a mad thing. That is, that's a mazzolina. But, but no, I'm scared of animals though. So like, if you add of all animals, no. Not all animals, but like most animals. Like, I don't like dogs, innit? Yeah, I know you don't like dogs, but like, how can you be scared of all animals if you never encountered them? I don't know, man. I think because I'm not around animals anyway. So like, my first reaction is like, like even coming to yours and I see that like, your cat, man, I'm just like, this cat's a little friendly thing. Cat, yeah, it's cat's yeah, yeah, cat. But like, I'm, but, not like, really, I'm not really too wavy on them, to be honest. But, like if, I, if I've never been around something before, I'm just a bit like, mm. nah, nah, nah. Don't know what, what, yeah. what to expect kind of thing. Yeah. 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 But, when I'm older, I do want a dog though. You're scared of dogs now. <laughs> yeah, dog. yeah, I'm scared of dogs now. Yeah, your dog but... will own your gaff. Yeah, like... sure, sure. Nah, but I need dog to get it. I need, get, I need to get it with when it's small, man. Yeah, get one obviously, and then it, that's how you probably you, you get the familiarity. Yeah, yeah, I think so. You, so yeah, you're but gonna be I, there. I still and... can't swim though, so. <laughs> that's a so what in case the dog goes in the in the yeah, yeah. Crosby Beach and that man has to save him. No, have you seen Anchorman? Nah. Oh, you not seen Ak- yeah, Ackerman 2? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ackerman 2, sorry. Wait, is the, one, the second one with Drake, in it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. When all, I've seen it. both of them. I've seen the both. second one. You've seen at the end of Ackerman. I don't care if no one's seen Ackerman 2 because it's been out for five years, so it's a spoiler. No, it's <laughs> been out longer than five, five years. Five years? Is it? Longer, yeah. Oh, yeah. what, seven years? But I'm just saying to anyone who listens to this and goes, why is he being Ackerman 2? <laughs> it's been out for a time. But have you, have you just seen it with the dog? And the dog goes in the water. He saves him? Yeah, the sun goes out. The sun's got a daft name as well. What's the sun's name? Ah oh, shit! What's the son's name in Anchorman Two? I'm yeah. gonna have to. You're gonna have to find out. But it's something, something daft. And then, and then in Anchorman Two, like the thing with 
<laughs> it's funny because it leads back to the whole conversation about black culture and stuff. So, because um, Will Ferrell's dating Megan Good, yeah, <laughs> he can't contain himself to tell everyone that he's dating a black woman. So they're in this, <laughs> they're in the restaurant. <laughs> you know what they're about? They're in the restaurant, and then he's there, and then say where Yami is is where Megan Good is, and then they're talking, and then <laughs> no one's around him, and then he's like, "Yeah, because I'm dating a woman who's black," <laughs> and he's just shouting. He keeps shouting it, but he keeps shouting things that are black. Then he goes to um, was it Jude? Jude there? Jude, mm. Jude, yeah, it's a, yeah. Jude, well, Walter Jude. Burgundy. Walter, that's yeah, it. Yeah. They call the dog Walter, and then the the, the son's called Jude Burgundy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so they go to um, Megan Good's family's house to eat food, um, and like, I think I don't know whether he's like, he's been drinking beforehand, but he's like he's he's shouting all these stereotypical things to the black family. So he's got Megan Good, who's the the girlfriend, and then he's got the mom, the sister. He's got like the, the, the nan and all <laughs> stuff like that. Then he's like, the, the, the Megan Good's dad asks him like, oh, so what? Like, what, what are your intentions with my daughter? Then he'll say something nice, and then he go, yeah, because I want to be slapping that ass later on tonight. <laughs> <laughs> <You're> like, <"What> <laughs> the f-? <laughs> and then he's like talking to the nan. He's like, yeah, I'm with these like pipe hitting bitches and shit. Like, and and everyone's like. This ah, oh, it was it's crazy, oh, man. It's wild, man. Yeah, it's actually it nah, it's no, joking. Watch imagine if someone said that to my daughter. Oh, but I've, imagine going, yo, I'm just, I'm all here to clap them cheeks, yeah. <laughs> boy. I don't even know, man. Be like in bad boys when he turns up to the door. Yeah, yeah he's watch like, your attention, man. Yeah, 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 like, I don't shit. get it, man. You at least thirty. <laughs> Nah, he did look old though. I'm thi- his, man's, his name's Trey as well. Is it? I think uh, so. Too many. Man. If if I'm thinking to speak to someone's daughter, so I don't want your mum's number. I don't want your dad's number. We keep a kosher before you be like, I accidentally said n- nudes to your mum. Uh, I hear these stupid things, man. Yeah. 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 But back in the day, back in the day, back in the day, there you go. Back, <laughs> in, actually, just, <laughs> <laughs> back in the day, there used to be this girl. We must have been like 13, 14. 13, 14. 13, 14. No. 14. Sugar, sugar. Back in the day, you know, and this this thing, everyone used to chat to her. And um, this is like me and Benny in the gap. Right? Everyone used to chat to her? Well, if I say the name, you will all know. You'll be like, yeah, I chatted her. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, you know what? No, carry on speaking. Yeah. <laughs> carry on speaking. <laughs> Bro, she had every man's on locks. And then when you see on person, you're like, Ross, it was the first catfish I ever known. Oh. I know who you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> bro, I know bro, who you're talking about. She used to throw the... Real, bro, the game was live. Let me write the name down to see whether it's the same name. Come on, come Yeah, on. so then... Um, <laughs> so it was my... This, <laughs> this is the first time I was on Facebook. And, uh, on Facebook. And um, her mum just randomly added me and Benny out of nowhere. And we used to be like... We was 13, 14 at the time. Wow. Mum used to be like, yo... No. Oh, no. See, no. See, no. See, no. See, okay. See, no. See, no. You have to be. Nah. Yeah, I, no. I, I what was you talking about? Well, no, you talking about? Yeah. Yo. And then camera said, picks up that stuff. <laughs> Yeah, okay, that was, yeah, the, that was no, the second one. Yeah. That was the second one. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so the mom added me on Facebook now. Yeah, but ah, the mum added you on Facebook. Bro, I got a story wild, about that bro, bro. It was wild. It was wild. So the mum was like, yo, oh, you speak to my daughter? And he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, she actually messaged you. Bro, bro, what I mean, like, if I can go through my Facebook messages now. Oh, that's mad. But this is, oh, you're speaking to my daughter? And he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm speaking to your daughter. Yeah, you look after my daughter. She's a nice girl. And I was like, oh, cool. And then... Every other couple of days, she would just message, buru, buru. And then we just thought, yo, let's put it on her. Like, but we just not even put it on her, like how we put it on someone now. It's like, oh, yeah, you'll really fit you. The mum loved it. The mum, <laughs> the mum was loving this shit, man. The mum was... <laughs> Think about the most sick. <laughs> Was she playing? Yo, she was like, <laughs> she, had like she had like short hair. It was yeah. weird. She looked, she looked like the girl. Good man. Cause she's like no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Look like hair, but Her with like as well. yeah, she looks like hair, but with like, but you know, back in the day, 
when short hair and the side used the to be side, yeah yeah yeah. Used, Frankie. To, yeah yeah used to be a thing Satire that's how thing. she looked like bro she used to just used to throw it on us and we was like oh yeah you're fit da, 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 da. and she's just like oh she's just like oh yeah my daughter won't like you to say that but i was like oh we don't care and then she <laughs> yeah. was just like bro it was a maz ali john's man was how how does the mum know who the daughter's talking to bro i don't even know how she found us on facebook that's what i'm getting at the, but like our facebook photos we're hella young yeah that's like, what i'm hella young like it was yo out it's a bit weird that though bit, we didn't think it was weird at the time obviously because you're yeah i'm chatting someone's mum up yeah. no that's yeah. right yeah. Um, nah, but you legitimately could though then like, sussed it up now, man. We're thinking, yo, this sicko. <laughs> Where was me too? Where the <laughs> I, need, I need to save it. <laughs> oh, shit. Man, wow. She was proper, like, I didn't know if she wanted it to feed the energy. I didn't know how she wanted it. But to go and come and tell people, like, kids were messaging you, that's a mad thing. Mm, mad, wow. bro. How, how, do you, how do you, like, start speaking to the air? In the beginning, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I feel like she put herself out to, to be, be accessible um, because, to because I don't even, yeah, because I, I, like, I got added on Facebook, yeah, back when my thing was Trey Songs or whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah and then true. like, she no, likes a couple of my photos and that, <laughs> and then I just like popped like a little DM, do you know what I mean? As, as you would do, like, pop the same DM to, I was like, yo, you got MSN, yeah, I got MSN, yeah, yeah. So, any, so, anyways, I'll be home yeah, for um, <laughs> you know, like when you had them webcam days and that, and I thought, yeah, she got on cam, yeah, and I was like. Okay. Why are you managing so, cam like that? Bro, I had bro, cam. I had the VJ, VJ cam, yeah. Right, right. I'll sit there in my little... Um, I was doing podcasts from there, you know. I had a podcast from day, you know? little hat on, thinking I was actually Trey songs in it, but nah, I was looking hella dark skin on the other side anyway. But, yeah, because there was but, no 4K nah, HD no there. 4K, no flash, no lighting or nothing. Wasn't no flash? Nah, I swear that. That means you had to do it before 5 p.m. when it got dark. Do I need to see it? Nah, for real, I had to... Nah, my computer... Of my, cause my, my computer's in the living room. Away. That's so what I switch, <laughs> switch on my little light. <laughs> yeah, oh, but shit. fucking hell. Uh, but yeah, but um, yeah. But yeah times, I dude. I first went out with her. I took her to Coldies Park just for a little walk around thing. Yeah, and then she's like, oh, I need to go home because my mum like wants wants me. Blah blah. So, anyways, went home and that, and then I got the ad off her mum also as well. You got the ad off the yeah, mum too. Yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't even know like, like, that. Oh, after the day when I when I when I got home in it, then so your mum added you. Her, no, her mum added That's me. That's what I'm in saying. It. So, so she must have gone home and told, told her, and then I don't know. So I messaged her saying, "Ah, oh, like, who's who's this?" But I didn't get no replies, nothing like that. Do you know what mm. I mean? And she's like, "Ah, oh, um, oh, where where are you from? Where's this? Blah blah." So I'm like a bit shook because I'm like, I don't know what's going on here. So I told me mum, like basically, ah, oh, this person's blah blah and I was like oh no you need to get rid of Facebook blah 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 mm. so I didn't get rid of Facebook I just like deleted blah blah deleted blah block, no. then I think it was like two weeks later I'd keep on messaging her <laughs> but like she never, wouldn't reply do you know what I mean I said oh do you want to like go out again do you know what I mean I was like alright cool now she's she, such a weird cat as wait well, there, wait there, but this, this, this bit gets a bit weirder because I thought she was like well at the time like on it like what you would do when you were like that age anyway so she said oh meet me by the arts college so I met her by the arts college and then what road is it? Is it Rodney Street? Rodney Street, you know, we're walking down and it yeah. goes into Hardman Street, yeah? Mm. So she had a gaff around there, innit? Did she? Yeah, wait there, wait there. It gets weirder, but I didn't process <laughs> What this. age were you Whoa. from? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. No, wait there, wait there. So I went into this gaff, yeah? And then there's this woman on like the reception thing and she goes, oh, have you got ID? So I'm like, I've got a bus pass. And they're like, no, 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 no. I need to have a government ID. To this day, yeah, I'm pretty sure my national insurance card is in that place, yeah. So I go upstairs, yeah, and it looks like, if I look at it back now, it looks like I cracked them, bro. That's like, if I look at it now, yeah. I went to the so, band, though. Did you Wait, go yeah, to yeah. the powerhouse or something? <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, Wait, how did she have a gap? Because how would you? No, she, actually. No, no, no. So it's like, how can, how can I put it? So Did she live with a sister? No. No, no, no. Oh, so, sister's okay. like... Uh, She's like two years younger than us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Her sister's like our, our age. age. Yeah, okay, yeah. Actually, so yeah, then she must have been like 14 or something. When I went in this place, yeah, it was weird because I went in there, there was two other girls. One was like a butch lesbian. The other one was just like a random girl who had then started Was it like to, a hostel or something? Kind of. Fuck But no. it looked dirty, bro. It must so have been like a hostel I was or sitting on the couch, yeah, in the corner. She goes, oh, I'll be back. 
And these two other girls are there, yeah? And I'm just sitting there like, what's going on here? These two girls start necking on with each other, yeah? And I'm like, what's going on here? I'm sitting there in the corner, yeah? Thinking to myself, shit, I'm going to die here. Like, I'm actually going to die here. But like, I didn't know what to do. So I just sat there for like two hours while they were getting whatever they were doing. She comes back and goes, oh, make yourself comfortable. It's like, oh, do you want a drink? And I'm like, nah, 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 nah. I'm all right, I'm all right. I just sat there quiet, bro. And then I just got home, went home because it was dark in it. So just walked home. But since that day, never ever messed there again. It's the weirdo. But she dressed like an emo, though. Nah, do you know what? Yeah, she used to... Yeah, back then. I don't want to get too into it because I don't want people to I start think, clocking you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just, just allow that. <laughs> but... I love you because everybody's had an encounter. Yeah, no, not really everybody. Really so, I wanna, my, my yeah, well, so I want to everybody. So I don't want to dive into like all that, but yeah, it was a bit mad. But yo, I the first catfish that I ever got catfished was on fucking MSN, MySpace. Mm. To this day, I have still never got to the bottom of who it was, <laughs> bro. I, I, do you know what? Yeah. I would pay anyone money to find out, man, because it was deep. <laughs> it was actually deep. So, bear in mind, me and Trey get catfish six times a year. <laughs> like, <laughs> and this is my first ever catfish. When you say catfish, though, you mean so, catfish as in, like, not looking so, okay. how they actually look? Or no, no, no. So, someone else completely different. me and Trey get fake Josh Orries and fake Trey's. Mm. So, at least six times a year. That's it happens on a regular basis. Oh, six then, is a bit much, but it has happened like at least three. <laughs> nah, it happened to me six last sure. year and then three this year. So then, yeah, so on. So I, I'm me. not. I'm just. Oh, I'm yeah. just. Yeah. I'm just Josh LFTS. <laughs> that, that's it. I don't do much. But the first time like, some gal ever catfished me, yeah, it was. I must have been sixteen at the time. But like you said, when what yeah, I mean, you just said what, when you said catfish, what though? Okay, this is where it gets. <laughs> so I never got to find out who it was. I never got to see the person. So it was like someone pretending to be oh. somebody. But did they have pictures? Of this Leng Leng. <laughs> 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 Josh is the horniest you in the I'm just I'm just here to look for my wife in it. Don't <laughs> yeah. yeah. say that. I love you. Yeah. Now, yeah. Yeah. now but yeah, um fucking so I was like 15, 16, because this is like yeah, it was before GCSEs and it was my space days. This Lang thing followed me, you know. And it was I was like, Oh speaking to her, speaking to her, she was like, Where are you from? I was like, Oh, I'm from Toxta. She was like, Oh yeah, my nan lives in Toxta. But yo, what I mean, the body. And I'll have to show you guys that in my space because to this day I've always wanted to know who it was because the body on it was mad thing. And then but she said her cousin. Her cousin was some girl that went to Bell Reef. Mm. So I cool. I was like, calm. All right, where do you live? She's like, I live not, man, I live not too far. I was like, cool. Speaking to her every day. I was like, yo, jump on cam. She's like, oh, I'm a cam. She's like, jump on cam. She's like, oh, my cam's not working. Da -da -da -da. Oh, like, cool. No. But she's like, I'll be on tomorrow. Speak to this girl for like two weeks. Say the same thing. No, I was just then, then, could you go on freeway conversations on. MSN. Um, was it MSN? Was it MSN? Was <laughs> it might have been. Go on. So <laughs> then, anyway. she introduced me to a man. Then spoke to a couple of friends. Had her friends on my MySpace. Had her on my MySpace. She became top friends on my MySpace. I'm to this day. She's still the top three of my like. It's like two people that here on hers. It's one person than me, and then a couple of other people. Then she's like, yeah, I can't wait to see it. I asked one girl, I was like, yo, she said this air cousin goes to your school. She was like, yeah, yeah, yeah she does. Like, but do you know this? She was like, this girl's white, but this girl's like Latino mixed race, but the body on these walls. <laughs> <laughs> it's still weird to this day. <laughs> to this day. <laughs> to this day. <laughs> to this day. Uh, so mom's like, yo, ah, right, cool. She's like, I go to my nuns every Saturday. It's like, cool. It's like, yo, Inzima, Benny. Let's go through, bro. Ride, ride our bikes down the street. Yeah. But these man are shouting a name. I don't even want to say that. <laughs> I was like, rah. No one, I, they, they were so embarrassing. It's like, ah, cool. Speak to her, speak to her, speak to her. She's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And then something happened where we just had this massive Facebook argument. I don't even know where I'm going. Someone said something. You know, everyone just jumped in. The man then started giving it one to one to. So everyone's cussing out everyone. Like, I don't even want to speak to you. And I was like, cool. Find out she gets with some done. But even the, she now says she's in a relationship with this kid. But there was never photos. It was like this, this, is, this is sounding so like is actual. She, was she actually was she actually real then? Or but like, this is this is where it gets a bit funny. No one's seen this girl, but this kid lives the next street to me. And the girl's the cousin went person to this, who's meant to be the boyfriend. Yeah. So okay. the new guy who's who's, who's her, who says in a man okay. says she put on Facebook she's in a relationship with my man. Her cousin is in the same school as this kid. So I'm like, did these two men go in cahoots? To be like, I'm gonna start making fake profiles and start going around catfishing man. It was a bit weird. I see a man to this day. Like I see I, so I, did you ask him about it? But I wanna I've never I've never had the courage. Uh, to, you should not see that's where you, you should Nah, have because him. if my cat fish me, yeah, boy. I have to, <laughs> I'll have to, I'll have to yeah, make man afterwards, innit? Because it's funny because I've seen him. Beef is lasting 15 nah, nah, years. Nah, 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 it was deep. It was actually it was actually deep because it said that man was in a relationship to this guy. So then but they would comment on each other's shit. I don't think this is too deep. But what if... Bro, he no, no, was no, no. catfished by... Nah, not even that. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. if he, he was controlling both accounts? This is where it gets... That's right. Oh, I'm blown. The, yeah. girl, the girl he, she said is her cousin used to comment on the posts. Right, okay. So the cousin used to comment on the girl. So these two... The, this, the girl was white. This kid went to the same school with each other. Yeah. This girl... Latino looking, yeah. Just on a once yeah. said she's in cousins with this girl. Okay, speaking to me, she she didn't end up Did linking up. Did you ever up. see the Latino cousin? Never, never. But I would see, I would see the the cousin. It's mad because so you see the white one and the guy, but you never see the Latino. Because I was I was in Inc. I was in Inc. I was in Republic one time. Yeah, and the cousin was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. My cousin and a friend, they're coming, they're coming. It's like you're you're still keep. This is like three years afterwards. It's like you're still keeping up this line. Oh, <laughs> this yeah, man, this sounds is, a bit odd to me. Yo, it was bro. odd because she was like, she was like, yeah, yeah. But no one's ever seen seen us get. Nobody, Never. bro. There's not even family photos with this because she, the cousin, wow. she didn't watch mad. The cousin unfriended me from Facebook and Insta, so I could never ever. De- I used to deeper profile to be like, yo, I need to find evidence <laughs> because, bro, I got catfished and it still wins me to this day because I'm like, you know what? Yeah, you play the scam. So <laughs> I was like, yo, you actually play the scam. But that was where, if I asked one, are you saw me made that profile. The only thing I has to do it, I have to throw it down. <laughs> I was gonna start swinging. No, that's the only explanation because this is a ten year mystery. Like I'm 26. <laughs> this happened 12 years ago. <laughs> like, and I've never got the answer that I needed to know. Like it's a how sway? Oh. How like, sway? I needed to know is she real? Because from photos. Boy, mm. if I should, I have to show you the MySpace and the. You still got the photos. I only, I, I can go on my MySpace, but I don't know the password, so we have to oh. go through the thing. Langers, oh, but. Wow. It was like if she was too late for Liverpool. That was the thing. But the school she went to was like our rival school for rugby. And I asked a couple of men because uh, what was it, what was the school called now? What? Uh, nah, nah, in Crosby. Um, um, Taylor. 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 But you can have Major Taylor for girls and Major Taylor for boys. boys. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. So I then the girls one, I didn't care about Yeah, that. so she went for the girls one. And it was like, it was just weird. The whole setup was just a bit mad. But yeah. You definitely, you definitely uh, bro. Didn't like, even, didn't even got closure in the end, man. Nah, the catfish thing is dangerous, man. I think from the other end, though, do you want people are trying to be you, mm. and then, like people are like looking at you a bit funny, and you, you just don't think nothing of it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So somebody tries to be me on Tinder or whatever, and I got people who've messaged me like, "Oh, is this you?" Like, "Nah, nah, nah. I don't <laughs> use Tinder. Don't use Tinder." And then somebody was like, "Is this you?" Because this is a photo that they've sent me, and I was like, "What do you mean?" And I was like, send me what they've sent you, do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen this, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, nah, that's not mine. I was like, that's not mine. Wow, what was it? Oh, oh, I was like, oh, oh, like you said it. <laughs> 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 No, 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 no,
oh my god, what else is he sent it? So I start going on Insta saying, oh, um, report this profile, report this profile, and then it would disappear, and then it would just reappear. Make it, make a fresh yeah, one yeah, yeah. Again. yeah, yeah. That was um, that could have been devastating. Right, the first time yeah. someone catfished me was a bit bad. Because they were like, oh, do you like black boys? <laughs> 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 it was mad because the person who did it, yeah, I ain't going to say nothing. Oh, you found out? You, you nah, I don't know, I'm not even going to say. I have my sneaky suspicions. Oh, you have a suspicion? Yeah, I was suspicious. Was this recent? Nah, the one that happened last year. Yeah, that's recent. Was this the, oh, yeah. the Insta one? No, no, so they all come from Insta. Oh, yeah. They all okay, stem okay, from okay, Insta. Okay, okay. But the first this one... the one that was messaging big bro, girl? But the, it was all of them messaged the maddest girl. Hmm. But, like, the first one now was... Um, they went through it was mad because they, they must know man's movement in it because everything that they follow is either girl that I'm moving to the girl that I was actually currently speaking to um because she was the one that told me it was like so it kind of oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so like but like the formation of girl the top even I went through the followers like right <laughs> <laughs> I was like yeah. on. I was like okay I don't know I could have followed these type of girl I get, I get a follow back I said I follow you back as well bro, from this profile from what they did bro that I'm gonna use this I'll tell you after it don't use that as a link to find you on <laughs> I was like yo so the girl I was speaking to at the time she was like it was mad because she was on holiday and she threw it and she was like, oh, this page, follow me. I was like, yo, what's going on? She was like, oh. She was like, is this you? Did you start a new page? I was like, nah. But didn't they spell I... one of your names wrong? Yeah, they spelled they spell Ori mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it Oreo? And then, um, <laughs> trust, <laughs> trust, <laughs> trust me. And um, she was like, is this you? I was like, nah, nah, what's up? Then she was like, you, you were saying some weird stuff. I was like, I'm weird anyway, so they kind of know my personality, so they're like, nah, this can't be you. I was like, nah. Then they throw me the profile, I was like, oh, shit. Why me catfish? <laughs> <laughs> but then they just started messaging bare girl, but then the girl that they were messaging was like, at that point, the first the first batch of girl were like, girl that I've like really got onto. And I was like, this is kind of weird because you must know me. Yeah. yeah. Like, you really must know me because for you to message that thing, when I mean this girl was low key like only the man them knew yeah even people that i know that know, don't even know me would she was that far away you would never know that i was chips and that thing that's how that's how far she was mm. so then i was like this is a bit random and then they started from other girl into the mix i was like then it was girl that i didn't want to speak to that you're messaging and they were doing a, a real but the thing that was killing me off was girl who i currently or did speak to were liking their photos then wouldn't like my shit. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, Josh, you were liking the fake Josh? Yeah. <laughs> but then, yeah, then then you wouldn't say nothing to me when it was me. So then I didn't get it. Girl wanted so then, Tesco's own, you know. So try to get to the bottom of it. <laughs> <laughs> underrated just, comments. Just, just, uh, just underrated comments. Reported it. To actually report stuff is long as well, man. Instagram don't take that shit straight away. Nah, because you there gotta review for time. it, yeah. And then, boom, went uh, two weeks later, another one come up. But then they just say the maddest stuff. Like, whoever does it. Or via DMs. The, the brave. They're actually brave because outlandish. I don't even know if I have that kind. But it's kind of mad because. There's, you know when girl actually throw up on their story like, like how man moved to me yeah. like that's, that's I'm that's scared how, in case something like that happens that's and they how, think that's it's how me. they'll move into that's how they move to you. be like yeah. yo yo just you'll fit you there <laughs> <laughs> or you, if you or the maddest like do you want to see two balls on a hot dog oh my <laughs> god <laughs> <laughs> they, they've got the balls I'm like but like the the people there's actually people in this world <laughs> That who throw bars nah, like that. They're, they're Especially they're when people throw um, Tinder ch- chat up lines. I got a friend that does that. Mm. She throws up her ch- Tinder chat up lines. Oh, you, you show me, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, they do so people funny. actually do that? Like, where'd you get this energy to start throwing bars like that, man? Uh, I couldn't do it, man. <laughs> but catfishing is a, it's a sport. It's it actually a sport. a sport. It man. takes more energy to catfish than being yourself. Yeah, but I feel like they feel more comfortable to be somebody Someone else. Someone else, because the character. Yeah. But you can still be a character but behind your, yourself anyway. If, I don't know, If man. people don't know you properly. If you're known, then it's hard to, but you can still try and be something else online, even mm. though you're you're another way online. But yeah, catfishing mm. is mad. Catfishing mad. is long. Catfishing yeah. is long. You're going to see the real me. 
But um, boy, I know we're a week behind, but yo, we got some fire stuff yeah, in the works. Took a little international break. Yeah, man. A little intermission, inter- yeah. interlude. 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 Uh, Trey's, Trey's, what is it? What, what should we call it? Trey's, Trey's, what's, what's the Drake one? Western Road Flows. Wait, you what? know, you know Drake. He's yeah. got. Sorry, I've lost everyone. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in Drake's uh, yeah, yeah. albums, he's normally got like an interlude, intermission yeah, yeah, yeah. or something. Oh yeah, to five. Yeah, six a.m. in Toxic. When it's five a.m. in Toronto, we do that. <laughs> About to get hot. <laughs> We're gonna end it like the chicks tape. This is Jalissa, Jalissa's friend, Keisha. I kiss your sister. His <laughs> 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 name's got Jalissa. That was how they said it, the yeah. chick's tape. Oh, is it? Wait, you know, spot I mean, on. I'm not going to lie. Spot the on. Chick's tape. <laughs> I didn't think it was that loud. Wait. Hey. Mm, a couple of tracks in it. Yeah. Nah, there was a few tracks. The Chris Brown track and the, the Jerry Sprunger. I think he should have left it alone. It's too mm. much of a classic to try and flip it. The f- Fabulous one was a good one, but I feel like... Did you hear the room 112? Yeah. Oh, who's that? Who's that with? Mm. Who's it's the one at the end, right at the end. Probably, probably. Mm. I can't remember who's. No, nah, there's, there's some bangers, but some cause, bangers though. Because of the concept he's trying to do, he's trying to do. It's very complex yeah. because of what what I what I obviously you can't obviously you mentioned about the classic or whatever. But mm. when he got the actual artist to go back and rewrite obviously their own verse and stuff, yeah. I was like, hmm. now nah, some of them. The Chris Brown one is yeah, sick. I Brown. feel like he's done that better yeah. than the original one. E- even the tra- even the Trey songs one. Um, that one's good as well. The way I've seen the comments on Twitter going, oh my God, he's still coming back. You need an album like that. Bro. Trust. Yeah, anyway, trust what, what was Josh yeah. saying about we're coming with fire? 6 yeah. a.m. and talk stuff. Yeah. Was, nah, we're not. <laughs> nah, he's talking about the pod because we had a little break. Cause we yeah, yeah, so we're going to come back with some wavy content. Obviously, we're still going to try and be a weekly pod. We're still going to get it out there, man. Just one little hiccup. But we're there. We're here. The fans, thank you. My mum, thank you. Just my auntie, thank you. Just thank everybody. Josh's cows, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the ones with the afros. The ones with the afros. Nah, but nah, just... for real, you've all got hair in hot countries. Probably because your hair goes weird. Yeah. 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 Is, that what, is, that is that what you meant? Like that? Yeah, but like that, I think that's an ox in it. Yeah. I just type in cow. But like you can get cow with hair and it's a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit mad. But anyway, yeah, like the pod, like you say, going to hopefully have more guests on it. Obviously, today we had Yemi on it. Don't worry, Yemi will come back with proper vocals, man. Yeah, we'll come on some vocals, you know. Them, them, ha- them harmonies. Uh, yeah, just going to have more guests on it more frequently. Only people who have something to add to the podcast, obviously. Trust me, The man. people who DM us saying that. Shout out to Gaia for being the best fan ever. Yeah, man. Yeah. Shout out to Gaia because yeah, she, man. she she, she deserves super, man. a shout out. She, she, she actually deserves... The energy she comes with. She that's comes what with I need. the best energy ever, man. Gaia Jammer. Gaia... <coughs> <coughs> to to Can you play the thing? Yeah. Hey. Team Front Love! <laughs> 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 you mother <laughs> No, we need to put she that. We need to, we need to put, put that, that in the intro. Him, yeah, or the end <laughs> outro. Or in the, so mid- or in the middle of the pod, just yeah. like with switching. Team foot left. Yeah, man. But anyway, um, just before we finish, I, I've done this over. So uh, okay, do it, do it. I'm uh, ready. Uh, so you can all you can all answer it in this. So okay, the first one. Oh no, I did that one last week. So the first one we got is. Megan the Stallion or Steph Don Don? Meg the Stallion. Universal. I just want to. I just want to kiss her. The Stallion. Yeah, the the stallion. stallion. You can ride that. Just just like, <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, pancakes or waffles? Pancakes. 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 Oh dear. Oh yeah. Okay, that yeah, was yeah. quick. Sandy Beach or Fresh Air Mountain? Fresh Air Mountain. Fresh Air Mountain. Do you manage? Yeah, you don't Fresh Air Mountain. Want, I don't like sandy toes, man. But no, don't no. get it twisted up, like, beaches are nice though at the same yeah. time. I like Pebble Beaches. I like, like <laughs> Pebble Beaches. Yeah. Pebble Beach? <laughs> <laughs> what you say to me? <laughs> what you say to me? <laughs> um, Netflix or YouTube? No, oh, YouTube. 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 YouTube, yeah. Fair. Netflix is dead. Uh, it's not dead, but... I don't know. Do you think about it? Now, YouTube's the one. Yeah, I, yeah, YouTube's yeah. the one. I think Netflix, it's more select. You I need to I got, sit down. I think I got really. onto Netflix yeah. a bit too late because some... 
The reason why I got Netflix was for certain things and yeah. they've removed them now. Yeah. To watch Netflix is long as well, man. I'm like, when I go on Netflix, the way I'm always scrolling for like half an hour, yeah, and then I'm like, yeah. oh, I actually don't want to watch What's it. What's that program that exp- is it explained? Explained, yeah. And then I'm starting to watch The Game Changers. Okay. That's I good. Seen it. Okay. Yeah, you should, you, should, you, pro- you should watch that. Actually. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll get on to yeah, it. You watch. Okay, so we got Nike Air Max 97s or 110s or Nike Element Reacts. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Reactor will die next year. Maybe the, it's like Did it's the like the, this year. Not, what was that? Yeah, you're kind of right. Well, so, something else was like the Harachis of last year. Yeah. Um, is it what do you say? 97s? 97. 95s yeah. as well. They're, they're always gonna be like that. The, the there's always there's always something like that each year, like Vapor Maxes as well. They always yeah. get big. And then that one year, the big, so it was like Harachis, Vapor Maxes, 95s. Remember them, um, them, them ones sandal out. ones that you had? Oh, Air Riffs. Air Riffs. Best trainer you can Oh, them where your toes are yeah. being. Yeah. They, you know where, know where, they don't do them no more? No, I don't think they do. Different so sick. The they, 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 yeah. they, you they, know what, yeah. 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 I used to think they were shit, but they, nah, they, they, were, they were far cool. ahead of their time. Yeah, they were. Far yeah. ahead of their time. You can still get them on like eBay and stuff, but obviously no one really wants to be wearing like. I would still rock them. <laughs> I used to rock mine all the time. Holiday I love season. Yeah. yeah. Does it, does it, is that it, it just your one toe that's separate? Does it? Yeah. 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 And they were so comfortable toe. as well. Yeah. yeah. Good for like water, like if you run pools and stuff. So okay, uh, Beyonce. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. I couldn't say that. Beyonce's bank account or Sofia Vergara is your wife. Beyonce's bank account. Because then account. I can have so many Sofia Vergara's. Jeez. I just Gallus, yeah. I just <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Jim <laughs> <laughs> Mark. Oh, I'm ready to risk it. <laughs> With that kind of money, I'm risking shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Triple H or John Cena? Ooh. John Cena. Nah, Triple H, man. Triple H was a legend. Yeah, Cena. I mean, was... HBK, the link yeah. up was mad. Was. So, I don't know, John Cena was. You know, sexy boy. Sexy boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not your boy. <laughs> 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 Wait, that was a legendary entrance, man. That's what I was that saying. That entrance man. was cold. Triple nah, H, you might want out here. For a minute. <laughs> Filling your mouth with water. Yeah! That's it. John Cena was bringing black stereotypes to, and he was white. You can't see me. The WWE, the headbands and stuff. Yeah, the jerseys, yeah, yeah. man. Nah, trust. Okay. Skepta and JME versus Kano and Wiley. Who are you picking for your team? Skepta, Skepta and JME. 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 Especially the link JME before JME man. started. Or JME can do. Which kind of JME? Not JME that can only say his name. Like, <laughs> yeah. He always yeah. says it like a Pokemon. Pick, pick JME, JME, <laughs> JME, JME. I'm like, what? I was like, yeah, JME, JME. <laughs> <laughs> you pick any the JME. JME that is, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, we got love back to you. That JME. Parlez vous, Francais. Yeah. 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 In the cipher thing that you done, yeah, the solo of? four or five. Yeah, 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 but that's, that's not Jamie. Jamie. No, no, no. Oh. Say, no, no, no. He yeah, says yeah. it. He goes, "Parlez vous for say." So because he goes, he goes first, doesn't he? Yeah. And then yeah, Skepta so. comes in, and then who else comes in after that? Yeah, solo, solo bars. forty-five. Yeah. Mm. Okay, and then the last one, Neil Long or Harry, Halle Berry. Ooh. 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 Berry. Wait, that's not, that's not wait, my is this like in Is this in their prime though, or is this like right now? No, in the prime. Right now, I take Halle Berry looking. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> is she, is that, is she looking a good? Mm, I don't know. No, okay, she like one, one, Wonder, Wonder Woman, Halle Berry. Mm-hmm. Halle Berry Cat was Woman. Wonder Woman. Cat Woman. Cat Woman. Cat Woman. I was like, Hi. Cat Woman. Cat sorry. Woman. Halle Berry was was Lengs. Or like Mia Long in like Big Mama's house, kind of. Halle Berry. I might have to take Mia Long. I think I'm picking Mia Long. I think I might have to take Mia Long, man. What are you saying, Josh? Are you picking? I think um, I'm still going with Halle Berry, you know. Let me see. Is let that me see. 2019? 2019. <clears throat> nah, Neil Long's pink, but Halle Berry looks so skinny as fuck. To... That's in 2019. Yeah, she put pink. up a photo. Let me, let me see Neil Long. Uh, yeah, 2019. Halle Berry looks like... You know she's from Liverpool? Who, Halle oh? Berry? <laughs> 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 nah, no, no gas, no Who's gas. From Liverpool? Halle Berry's from Liverpool. Mate. Yo. Go, do you know that? No. <laughs> Nah, d- you yeah, actually be serious? No, no. That's yeah, not she moved. Knowledge. She moved like when she like my mom was like, yeah, her auntie still live here. That is, I, that is that is actually I no. Thought cap. She was American. No, no, she's from Liverpool. 
That Jeez. is a mad thing. You should learn something new. Everyone every go and day, check. Go, go and Google that for yourself. Fact check that. Do you Google? Google it now while we're here. Well, yeah. But anyway, Googles, that was the front left. Wait, wait, wait. I haven't done my. <laughs> you know. Tez about to sign. No, no, okay. no, I was gonna bring it to sign. You know what? Yeah, Nia Long takes nah, the cake. The last Look one. at the face. Mm. Just, uh, mm. <laughs> imagine just kissing it yeah, like I'm that. I'm ready man. to risk it all. Still, I'd still risk it now. And she's about fifty. Mm. She, mm. I think she just turned. To 50. be fair, yeah, I've seen a couple of girls on Twitter now taking risk it all, man. Yeah, I would yeah, actually Nia Long, long all day. Yeah, yeah, maybe. yeah. Nia Long. Yeah, right, boy. I, um, I, I she's she she looks thin. <laughs> I, know, I, know I know what you mean. I know you have all. I don't like this. Mm, <laughs> got that school teacher, don't mess yeah. with me vibe. Yeah. Yeah. Is she Asian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Nah, I don't think she is. Yeah, 100% being near long. We'll have good looking children still. Swiss. Is that man Mike Epps? Nah, that's not Mike Epps. Oh, okay. But he looks a little bit like him. But yeah, nah. near long all day. But yeah, anyway, like I was going to say before these men carried on chatting about near long, man. Jeez. <laughs> Going, mm. taking it back to the 90s and that. That was the Front Left podcast. Um, yeah, socials. Let's plug the socials before right. we sign up properly. It's Josh underscore LFTS. Yeah, the real Josh, not the Tesco's brand. Fake value one. If you catfish get, one. If, yeah, yeah, I love the catfish one. Uh, yeah, trust. Who else? Trey on? LVP, T-R-E-Y-L-V-P. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he has to spell it out because his, his Twitter one is spelled differently. Oh, and yeah, then, if you got Twitter, then T R A E L V P. And then, Yami, yeah, you can plug yourself. Yeah, follow me on Insta, G X B R I E L, and then Harding, H A R D I N G. Come with the sweet boy London voice there. Come Jeez. on. Yeah. <laughs> you know the vibe. <laughs> what to do, baby? <laughs> and then me, yeah, Tezza, aka Tezki. That's T E Z S K double I. Don't spell it wrong. Tezke. Tezke. That's how they say. That's how Money Man says it. Then, yeah, listen to the podcast as well, not just watch the visuals. Yeah, man. People like the visuals, but. I don't think they'll hear this, but you have to throw this at the end then. So they, you can only hear the pod to see this, but you won't see individuals. Whatever Josh said made sense, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, know, I know we did, I know. <laughs> That's what I was saying. But yeah, what, listen to the... <laughs> yeah. Obviously, they're not going to be able to listen to it if they don't listen to it, but yeah. yeah. Anyway, that was the Front Left Podcast. Follow the podcast, follow the Twitter. Hashtag Front Left Mondays. Hashtag Front, front Left Mondays is a movement now. No, I like that we, Front Left of all if conversations. If anyone knows any venues, we're going to bring Man Mondays back. Monday. Nah, <laughs> get them wet t-shirt competitions back out there, man. Josh, Mr. Risk It All Me Too. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be sponsored by him. Yeah, that's us. Yeah, that's it, man. Thank you. Peace.